key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait, don't move. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. That's it. That's it. Come on, come on, let's go. Run! Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help for you now. Just won't listen to me and think seems pretty... Fucked up. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. <laughs> so by the sounds of things, you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep breath. No, 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 no. No. No, no. No, 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 not again. Not again. Get away! Get away! Uh, get away from me! No! You're dead! Sorry. You're dead! Shut up! Oh! Uh, no! You're dead! That's not ready. You manipulate. No. You are oh, there. Got him. Yeah. The one is there. Got him. Love it. It's great. I don't take orders from you. You can't. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. No. 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 You're not real. You're all alone down there. No. No. No, 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 not again. All alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away! Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. Why did you save us, Josh? Oh, shit. 
What did you want us to die? something kind of weird about it. Um, uh, what? The Wendigo. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. You're kidding. It was one of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old. At least. Spunky for an old-timer. They cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. I think we're close to the lair. How can you tell? I don't know. I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Did I? I really don't want to go in there. There's no other way through. Mike. Is that what I think it is? Shit. Looks like a grave. All the way where Emily fell when the grave is up here. It does not compute. She was just moving around the cross. Ooh, I forgot a toady. Let's go get almond. Oh no, no. Stop. Let's go get hypothermia. Yeah. Or pneumonia. Whichever one it is. Fine. I'm going in. Or both. Oh. Come on. It's okay. You sure? Oh, I'm not dead yet. Famous last words. Oh, oh, it's freezing. Can't feel my fingers. You reached the deepest part. Well, I didn't say that. I said it was okay. You didn't like the word any sharks or anything in here. Sharks? Great. Thank you. I'm wondering why she has short clothes to begin with. Like, cover your ankles. Hannah's writing. My little sister's dead. The fall killed her. I watched the color drain from her face. My leg is broken. I'm all alone, stuck here with Beth's body. S someone will come soon. I've never been so hungry. It feels like my stomach is twisting around inside. I took Beth's sweater. Much warmer now. She's still looking out for me. I'm sorry, Beth. I have no choice. It's the only way I can survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. Forgive me, Beth. My hands feel unclean. My nails feel... My nails fell out. Bushed out. I am aching. But no more cold. No pain. I'm getting stronger. Hunger. Hunger. 
hunger, hunger, hunger. Oh god, it makes sense. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's, that's god, ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. We found all the clues. And I got a show before. There. Uh, update. Hannah's journal suggests that she dug up the body, driven mad with hunger. A bundle of papers that Hannah used as a journal. It tells of how she was trapped down the mine and starving. She took desperate action for which she felt profoundly guilty. Then her body began to change. The journal ends as incoherent scribbles. Oh, update it. Update. According to Hannah's journal, she was down in the mine on her own for weeks. According to Hannah's journal, Beth was killed from the fall. Damn it. So I'm missing one clue and one clue. But I did good! I did good. We did it, guys. We got all the clues. Kinda. That, that was my only objective. Get everyone out alive, get all the clues. Totems, uh, they're a little bit harder to find. Just to drop down. I trust you. I trust you. Oh! 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 What's the matter with him? He's tripping or something. Josh! M M Mike. Josh! Hey, man. Don't, don't hit me, please. please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Josh, Hannah was down here for weeks, a month, she dug Beth up. Sam. Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Here. Oh, God. 
You see that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Yeah, you too. All right, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. You didn't, you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. Almost there, guys. The grand finale. Ugh. Man. No. No. This is the only part of the game where I think they kind of like scrimped because their reaction was so over the top because this is where you would find all the bodies of the people you killed. Letterman jacket. It's ruined. Oh shit, it's leather. Jess, is that you? Jesus, Jess, what the hell happened to you? How the fuck are you still alive? Uh, I already know what happened to her. I think, well, I'm gonna inform her. There's something been going on tonight. Someone really fucking with us up here. No. What? It's not someone, it's something. Jess, you, you, you had a pretty rough night. Hey, it's pretty confusing. No, I'm telling you. It's okay. I, I, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, God. Can you move? Yeah. Come on, Jess. Aww. That's right. There's no more clues. There's just totes. 
Look at that. Some sort of cave in here. It was me. What? I fell through that roof. You fell this far? Jesus. Makes two of us. When? I fell off a goddamn fire tower down here. You're getting me. What was that sound? Jess? Come on. Good girl. Has a locked door, so. Ah! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Which way? We hide. Jess can't do shit. Jess. Oh jeez. Palm sweaty. Tight over your rock walls. Everyone's in danger. Everyone better give me the best Christmas present ever, because I'm going to save your asses. Wow, that's huge. Pointing me towards something? No! Shut up, bird! That was not a guide. <laughs> that was not the three eyed raven. Water again. God damn it.
You're dead. I admire people who are resistant to the cold deeply. if we stay out here. Come on. Where's the table? Where's the table? Okay, we came in from here, right? Then it has to be here. Come on. Come on. Really? Here? Oh my god. I'm not following Mike on purpose. I'm trying to find the last blinky. Come on. <laughs> at the entrance of the lodge. There it is. Oh my god, I found it. La Viande Meat Processing. And there it is, boys. The mystery man, all the clues. What? I have updates? Damn it. Oh, this is all about that damn butterfly tattoo with the Wendigo. Yes, we know it's Hannah. It looks like a partially transformed Wendigo. It looks like a restrained man I was turning into Wendigo. The Wendigos must have overrun the sanatorium. Brack's body was never found. This was one of the Wendigos caged up in the sanatorium. And then the Wendigos in the sanatorium must have killed all these people. So yeah, all I'm missing is that stupid postcard. Because I didn't hide with Emily. Good job! I did it! <laughs> I did my objective. Oi! 
Let's go to the basement. How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Oh, go, go, go! Oh, my God! Run! Run! Fina! God damn! 
That was bullshit! You do have to move on that segment because it slightly moves it for you out of the box. Bitch of a game. <laughs> we have visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Oh, hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Let's pick them up. Oh, Jesus Lord. Thank God. <laughs> I, I saved them all. I did it. Thank God. My hand is palm sweaty, knee spaghetti. Uh, the old man, I, uh, I, I don't know how to describe him. I mean, you said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah. We <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. And I watched him die. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mines? I was carried and um, taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He, he said he knows, right? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. <sighs> Not me. Mike. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there, and I'd give anything to unsee it. One survivor, repeat. Is that 
Wendigo, it came out of the darkness and it just, I don't know, I heard screaming, I got out of there. There's no point in both of us dying. Oh, you bitch! God damn it, every time. Oh, I don't want to do this again. It takes half an hour to get to this point. Fuck my This. <laughs> no, I don't want to do this anymore. You can't skip the cutscenes. <laughs> and that is that. Oh my god, I gotta wind down after that. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I love this game, but that last section really is bullshit. If you. If you're not prepared, I wasn't prepared to actually have to move. Because the first few, like, it doesn't move the indicator. It just sits there. You just gotta sit very still. But for the last two, it just moves on its own. Because I guess she's flinching. And you gotta correct it. Just slightly. Keep it in a box. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's until dawn. I think Matt needs a new girlfriend. I'm just saying that uh, 180 she did there at the end. Oh, Matt's my boyfriend. And then in the lodge, just fucking backstabbed him. The, the backstab. Just, oh, yeah, that asshole. He just left me. Ooh. Man. So, yeah. I... I'm not going I'm not going to replay it for I'm not going to replay it for just the postcard. Let's pretend I found it. We got all the clues for the mystery man and I missed only four totems. Two of them were because one was uh not following Josh as Chris and then one of them was exploring more in the mine after Mike, like, ran after Jessica going down those steps, exploring more, instead of running straight to her, but I didn't want her to die. So, let's go over the butterfly effect. <laughs> now that we're completely done, we saved everybody. And I think if I had saved Emily, like, twice during the mineshaft encounter, and then use the flare to defend myself against the Venigo. I think Matt wouldn't have been so like beaten up over it. You know, I could have done something. Or and Emily wouldn't have fucking <laughs> backstabbed him in the lodge. My God, I'm so salty about that. Uh, Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy to see Sam. Chris continued to trust Sam on her decision. Chris chose not to choose the squirrel, nature remained in balance, Sam, unharmed, hid successfully. 
if you do shoot this squirrel, you're gonna get uh, a raven crow is gonna attack Sam and leave a scar on her forehead, and then she's gonna not forget to turn off the flashlight when she's hiding from the psycho. Ashley discouraged Matt from using the telescope. Matt didn't see Mike and Emily flirting. Matt was relaxed when Mike and Jessica arrived at the lodge. Ma Emily and Jessica fought. Matt sided with Emily during the fight with Jessica. Emily was sympathetic to Matt. Hell yeah. Mike came to Jessica's aid immediately. Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike continued to impress Jessica. Jessica resisted Mike's advances. Ooh. Sam found a baseball bat left in the cellar. Sam had the option to use the bat when being chased. Sam had the option to use the bat when being chased. Sam hit the psycho to escape. Mike successfully chased after Ses Je Jessica. Wow, Jessica. <laughs> no, no. Jessica. Jessica. Jessica was still alive. Jessica survived until dawn. Chris said that he would save Ashley. Ashley was grateful and felt indebted to Chris. Josh, oh, Josh felt betrayed and antagonized Chris. Chris considered violence. Mike got to the morgue. Mike still had a useful machete. Sam rescued Mike from the sanatorium. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. The wolf guided Mike through the sanatorium. Mike's new friend survived. Mac Matt resisted Emily's plan to go to the fire tower. Matt kept the flare gun. Sam made all the right choices during the chase. Chris and Ashley found a dummy in Sam's clothes. Sam explored the psycho's workshop. Matt walked calmly through the herd. Matt and Emily escaped the threat unscathed. Emily gave the flare gun to Matt. Emily has no defense against uh, against the attack and was bitten. Mike faced the dilemma. So if you do have the flare gun as Emily, you don't, and you have enough time, like, making it out of the mine, you have the option to shoot the Wendigo and then she's not gonna get bitten, but I did want the let him in achievement just because. But then you have to Abandon Emily on the fire tower, jump to safety as Matt, because then Matt has no defense against the Wendigo. And he will die if you do, do choose to save Emily. I'm just saying. Matt jumped to safety, Matt found Jessica and survived until dawn. Uh, that's what I meant. He would have died if I had no flare gun and chose to save Emily. Ashley took the scissors. Ashley had a chance to defend herself, but I didn't because I didn't want her to have a black eye for the rest of the game. She gets like punched around enough as it is. Poor Ashley. Ashley followed Chris. Ashley failed to see who was on the workshop. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. Ashley opened the door, saving Chris's life. Emily was bitten. Mike spared Emily. Ashley was faced with a dilemma and told the truth. Emily pushed past. Emily pushed pushed past Ashley. That's a tongue twister. Putting her at risk. Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. Ashley ignored the voice. Ashley joined the others. Chris was safe. Sam found. Hannah's journal in the mine. Josh heard the truth about the monster. Josh recognized Hannah, and Hannah recognized Josh. Josh was alive, trapped, and cannibalistic. So in the end, really, <laughs> Josh either dies and you don't get the keep them all alive achievement, or he turns into a Wendigo. So, say lovey. Sam escaped. Mike escaped. Ashley escaped. Emily escaped. Chris escaped. And that's it. That is it for Until Dawn. Heck yeah. So I guess with that, with that out of the way, what did I think about the game? Well, I already knew the story, but if I wouldn't have, I still would have really liked it because I like the characters in it. 
I like the story. Normally, I'm not a fan of walking simulator type games, like where you just do a bunch of QTE and stuff, because I think they're boring. So I will never, you will never see me play them a lot, unless the story is really good, which it, in this case it is. I think it's really good. It really drew me in and I really wanted to know what happened and I kept watching videos on it and seeing the different endings and different choices. It's great. I love this game. This is a good kind of chill horror game. A chill horror game where you don't have to do a lot of action-y stuff. So if you have someone who doesn't play a lot of games, they might still enjoy it. Thanks for watching until dawn and I'll see you in the next video. Whatever that might be. Oh yeah, one last thing about the totems. I forgot. Someone's gonna be like, you didn't press triangle! Look, okay, <laughs> you can just YouTube the thing. I didn't get all the totems and those fill in the last few like big chunks of stuff that I have left. It's just, whoa, my keyboard. It's just a bunch of, it's just the backstory of the flamethrower guy. And it, if I had opened it up during, like in the middle of the game, it would have spoiled a little bit. So I chose not to. It was a conscious choice. I didn't just forget it, but here. Many years ago, my grandfather hunted those possessed by the curse. But there was one that eluded him. The fiercest of all, the Makapichu. It was a terrible thing, and my grandfather could not defeat it. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain, until a cave-in trapped the men and woke the Driven mad, murderers, cannibals, eating, taunt them with fire. Years after many moons and many hunts, and free out of my grasp, beyond my reach. Until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in. I was tracking the Makapichu. It was tracking something else. The Makapichu forced your friends over the mountain. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't save your friends, but I could avenge them. I doused it with fire. The Makapichu was dead. And it possessed Hannah. That's why she was so tall and aggressive. She was the Mecha Pichu. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Whatever that might be. What is it gonna be? I have no clue. See ya.